today's mobility training tip, I will be continuing on the theme of shoulders. Realize that I've had a real clunky one that didn't realize it was as bad as it was until it started ungluing and kind of decompressing and then started to do a lot more rotational uh, type work for the rotator cuff. And so today we're going to do some basic internal rotation, external rotation. If you got a band, you just tie it off about hip level. Stand, hips engaged, chest proud. Try to engage the chest through and proud, so not hunched forward. That kind of does that thing where we don't want with our shoulder that internal rotational fall. Proud chest, elbow and tight. But also here when we're doing this, we about keeping ourselves wide across the upper back, especially this rhomboid. The rhomboid tend to get very pinchy with it, and that's the muscle that connects with spine and the scapula. So our elbows tight, chest up. And we're externally rotating here. And you're really trying to anchor and engage the outer part of your shoulder. So I'm really focusing on getting this area of the shoulder to really engage versus here. That's staying anchored. I'm going to keep the chest here, externally rotating here. I like to do between about 12 to 15 at a time, roughly. And just warm up the joint. Then I go with my other hand, again, chest proud, hips in. Then I'm internally rotating on the other arm. Let's put on your one. So I'm there, keep my chin tucked. That's helping keep a long neck, and that ties into all that whole shoulder musculature. So all those little cues really add up when we're doing this. Common fall to be to kind of roll that shoulder forward. Nope. Proud, open chest here, going as such. Then we also do a lateral raise right here. And we're just lifting up here. Straight up to the side, you should feel the delt, deltoid engage. And I always like that mother hand as a little feedback to just kind of feel what's going on in the workings of the shoulder. Especially since mine's been clicky. I'm just starting to just understand the joint and maybe the problem that's been in there and also just it's good feedback to feel what's going on. Of course, you go to the other side, but I like kind of in before my training day, before I even start doing any of my other like weighted carry work, pull ups, any type of full body work. I'm getting these shoulders warmed up and all the different ranges of motion. That's before, that's how these in after these shoulder rotations that I covered a few videos ago. I like doing these after because at first I'm kind of old and greased the joint, and then this, I'm really doing some more subtle motions that are more rotational based. Probably for your training, I think probably help you slide in better on different chokes. If you're a different sport, you're shooting a basketball. If you're hitting, you know, shoulders are the most mobile joint. They're using everyday activity. Try that out, see how it goes. Connect with me some more performance training tidbits below. I got the free ebook for you. And I hope you all have a great Christmas. It's almost that time, so support would be great. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one, guys.